Hi guys, it's Holly. Um, today I'm going to do a updated what's in my purse video. Um, sorry if I'm whispering. Every time I seem to turn the webcam on, my little one comes out and wants to be in the video. And I'm like, no. Um, so some of you follow me on Facebook and saw that, I think it was like last weekend or the weekend before, um, we went shopping. It was President's Day weekend. Um, we went shopping at North Bend, Washington, which is like an hour and a half, maybe two hours from Seattle, um, on the west side of Washington. Yeah, west side. Um, which we had to go over the big pass that has like so many accidents and stuff like that. So, um, we left Saturday morning at like 5.30 and got to North Bend a little bit before 10 when all the stores opened so and I mean it's a big outlet mall so you have like Nike you have Reebok you have like these like Claire's coach outlet store yeah that's where I went um so like a little restaurant it's just a big factory outlet mall um so we went and spent the day there um it was a long day I had kids that were cranky. Um, on the way home, it was a disaster because going over the pass, you didn't need chains. They were not required. It was just bare and wet. Um, coming home was a different story. We had to actually buy chains because chains permitted unless you had like an all wheel drive vehicle. And we had like front wheel drive in my van, I think, or real, rear wheel. I think it's front wheel. Um, anyway. So we had to buy chains, and then we had to pull over for like an hour and chain up with everyone else. And my husband had no idea how to put the chains on the van, so we had, I had to ask a semi-driver. And then we had to clunk, 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 clunk all the way over the pass. I just, I hate the sound of when chains are on your vehicle because it sounds like your tires are going to fall off. So, and then my husband had to pull off after we got over the pass and take the chains off but he got them stuck around it took him almost an hour to get them off and he's laying like we were not dressed for this I was in slipper shoe knit shoe thingies he was just in a windbreaker jeans and a t-shirt um, and he laid in slush that was about that high like he literally was like he got in the car and he reeked of old slush and it was just disgusting um, so stores open at 10 and I went to the coach store and I was looking for a specific bag. I'm not very like fashion forward, I guess you can say. I don't keep up with everything yearly. So a coworker has a coach bag. Um, I think the name's like Madison. And it's just big and it has three big pockets and it's like a softer, loose material and it's like leather. It was, it's really cute. And I was like, oh, I want one just like that. Well, come to find, you know, and I told the lady at the coach store, I'm like, yeah, she bought it like three years ago. She's like, oh, well, that's totally out of season. Oh, can you show me what's totally in season then? She pulls out this all leather C's on it. Like it, it. A gorgeous bag one I don't do that much leather um, and she was like yeah it's only three hundred and ninety eight dollars and I was like excuse me no I'm like where's the clearance section <laughs> I cannot justify spending that much on a bag um, I love purses I have I'm not gonna say an addiction but I have a problem when it comes to purses and it's just like little ones like I could pick up a ten dollar one from Walmart and use it for a week and then get bored with it just like phone cases it's bad and now it's iPad cases like it's horrible like I just got a new iPad case like two weeks ago in the mail and I just ordered a new one yesterday yeah it's really bad um phone cases is I have a stack of phone cases from my s4 that I went back to after I had the S4, and then I went to the 5, had the 
iPhone 5 for like two weeks and then I got bored and I went back to the S4. And that's what I've stuck with. This is my S4 with the pink case and the pink outer screen protector. Anyway, this isn't a phone video. This is a purse video. So she's like, oh, here's the coupon, you know, since it's present sale, whatever. I was like, okay. I had my two daughters with me. And we're looking through and my seven-year-old found this like Valentine umbrella, coach umbrella, for like $40 that she wanted. I'm like, there's no way. I'm not spending. I go, once you get older and you can learn to take better care of the stuff you have, then I will buy you something nice from this store. Same with my 13-year-old. She wanted like this wallet wristlet thing. And I'm like, I have given you so many and you don't use them. I'm not buying you an $80 wristlet just because it says coach on it for you not to use it. Like, no, that is absolutely out of the question. So I pay, I found a purse that is like what I was looking for. It's just a little bit smaller, but I've managed to make it work. I've downsized a lot. So this is the bag. And mainly I was just looking for the three big compartments, two on the side and then one in the middle. So yeah. And it fits over my shoulder perfectly. Like, I just like it. I just love it. So we'll start with... Woo. We'll start what's in... Let me move that down this compartment right here, which is the front one. And I have pens, which for my job, I write a ton. So pens are always... A must and cough drops and this little rubber thingy that goes on your pen. You know how it works. Yeah, like that. But I don't use it very much. So pens are a must. I have tons of them and I keep them right here. So sorry, I can't have the Okay, so then we'll start with these this. First compartment. And I have gum. I have receipts. I had to send off our lease today, so it's a tracking receipt. I have my lanyard for work and my key. I have another receipt from Walmart. I have a shopping list from Walmart. I have my, oh, I have my clearance gloves, gloves I found at Walmart. You guys, these are freaking adorable. There's a little, and then I have a little bow right there. And then this part, you can't see it because it's black. It's like the mitten part and it goes over your fingers. Yeah, I keep these with me because I we have families that go outside at, you know, at work, they go outside, and my fingers always get cold. So, my gloves. And then, oh, more pens. Just put those right here. I'll clean it out as I go. And then just some pastry crisps, special K. If you're on like an hour and a half transport, hour transport, and it's like early in the morning, like I always keep something to eat with me just because those transports can get long and you can get hungry. So, and then I also picked up when we went shopping a woo, wallet. So the wallet, the bag, and the makeup carrying case that I'm gonna show you, I only spent 190 bucks and some change. So this, everything was on sale or clearance. So it just has, you know, it's pink, like a salmon pink and glittery and it's a zip around which I prefer those better. So it has a zipper pocket right here. I don't keep anything in this pocket just because it is a little small. There's really nothing to fit in there. And then it's just medical cards, receipts, you know, stuff like that. So that is what is in there. So I don't need those. Those are garbage. 
Um, I'm just going to put it back as I go. So then the middle compartment oh, I have right here. I'll start with the pockets, small little pockets. I have some NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I actually picked up, I went on a shopping spree at Ulta after we got our taxes because that's the only time I could go on a shopping spree there. And I picked up like a package of three of these. It has this color, it has like a like an orangey salmon color and then a red color. But I like this one because it's more natural. It's like more nudie. And I have some hand sanitizer, you know, working with kids all day. I gotta have hand sanitizer. And I have some tissue because everyone seems to get sick where I work. And then I have some roll-ons, roll-on perfume. I have Clinique Happy and Coach Poppy, which I bought a bigger bottle of this after we got our taxes. Everything's after I got our taxes, but oh, I love it. I bought a bigger bottle of this. So, and I also picked up when I was at, no, I went to Sephora, finally. I've never been to Sephora. I finally went because they had the Naked 3 palettes, and I finally got a Naked 3 palette. Finally, oh, some extra strength pain reliever. Again, I work with Kit. I think it's mostly the biological parents give me a headache more more so than the kids. So this is a must. I got my kids immunizations. Um, I got some EOS. Lip gloss. Lip gloss and pens, it seems, what is in here. It may be too much. Um, my keychain that I have still yet to use, but my Seahawks keychain. Whoop whoop. If you're from Denver, I'm sorry. Seahawks all the way. So I got that. I was going to use it as my lanyard for work, but I need a new plastic. I need a new one of plastic thingies because how I have it on there, it's like gonna rip like any minute. So I need to get a new one of those. And once I get a new one of these, then I can put it on this and wrap my Seahawks. So, and then here is the little coach, little makeup case that I have that I also got. It was like $30 on sale and it says coach it's like a salmony pink and then i just have more headache medicine i got my sun my glasses cleaner i got some powder i got some rubber bands some bobby pins some alcohol wipes i don't know why i have little prep pads i thought maybe those they were the hand ones tampons some concealer some smart shade and alme. So that's what's it's in that. So, and I'm like pretty weird when it comes to like making sure my purse, my purses are all like organized. Like I can't have everything all in one compartment. It just drives me bonkers. I can't do that. So, and then I have the back compartment, the back pocket, which there's a zipper pocket which I don't have anything in there, surprisingly. I have oh, some work. We had a work meeting yesterday, Tuesday, and boss handed out some how parental substance use disorders affect children at work. So, and I got, oh, my son. We went to breakfast this morning with my husband. And he wanted to keep that. That's garbage. So, oh. Another pen, guys. And then I just have my little notebook. Oh, and the crayons. That I just have, like, my ring stuff in there. When I go get my ring clean. Um, work phone numbers. Some just a little notepad. And this, I actually 
won a overnight stay to our Coeur um, resort that's like 45 minutes away in, in Coeur d'Alene. It's a big resort town city, um, but they have a really nice resort like hotel there and I, I won a, a free night accommodation so for Valentine's Day. So I made reservations for April. And then I also won a $25 um, gift card to their new lounge that they have at the resort. So husband and I are going to go do that in April. Um, so that's it. Um, I know my last one was a lot longer, but you know, I just don't carry that much. I mean, I carry a lot with me, I feel I do, but um, you know, and the purse is big enough that currently I'm reading the first uh, Divergent book and it's like that thick. That fits right in here in this back one. Or, you know, my iPad can just slide right in there. So, all in all, it's a good size purse. So, yeah. Whoa, can go up. So, that is my updated What's in My Purse video. I don't think I'm going to get to it today, but um, another video is uh, What's on My Galaxy. So, I just want to kind of put some videos out there since I've been not doing them for a couple months. So, yes, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have anything that you want me to do video-wise, let me know. Because I'm such a space cadet that it just, I don't know. I want to do so many videos, um, you know, on like projects and stuff. Currently, I'm working on a recipe binder that is my project and just take recipes and I got these printables and they'll all go in this binder because there are pretty much if I were to turn the camera around you'd see all my cookbooks and all my recipes just on the table right there and I just need to get them condensed into one easy access so that is what I'm doing um so yeah like house tours or my makeup collection, which isn't a lot, but it's it's there. Um, a get ready with me video, a makeup of the day video. Let me know. So I really want to do this, guys, and I can't do it without you. So, um, yeah. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys have a great day. Bye.